All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I've got the Zero Tolerance 0562 Ti, titanium scales. Uh, this knife has a pretty nice action, and but you see, you need to wiggle it uh, uh, to in order for the blade to just fall shut. So let's try to see if we can perfect a little bit more the action. So for this uh, operation, we're gonna need um, a T10, and a T8 right over here, a couple of uh, bits, uh, drivers, and uh, some other tools. Uh, but let's start um, with, the, with the T8 uh, right over here, and let's start unscrewing the pivot. And as you can see, this is a spinning pivot, which means you're gonna need another uh, T8, which is right over here, another driver, just to keep that in place and then you can just unscrew right over here and then also the handles screws are T8 but you don't need two screwdrivers because you have these standoffs okay so you can actually use this uh, spot so first row is going to be for the presentation scale Okay, and we can keep the screws in the spots. So we're gonna put them back uh, where they came from, all right? So the clip uh, screw is a T10. So you're just gonna switch that and since it's uh, probably lock tight it in you're gonna need a t10 and i'm just gonna use this bit because there's more i can apply more torque there you go because of the handle like being thicker like that so that's the third the presentation scale let's see all right very good and you can see the guts of this one pretty simple very straightforward um, so I'm gonna use one of these uh, alcohol swabs just to clean it up just a little bit. And um, let's see, there you go. So you can clean this area. Nice skeletonization on the inside. Beautiful, you see you remove the gunk, any excess of grease or whatever was there to um, have that action not perfect it was nice but i mean i'm sure we can do better just the bearings like that push the pivot out just clean this up a little bit like so this goes there this is out very nice. We can clean standoffs like that. There's not really a need to, look at this, to remove uh, um, the standoffs really. Because uh, uh, yeah, we just wanna perfect uh, the action and just give it a clean up. Uh, just mainly around the pivot uh, I'm suspecting where we can improve uh, this already nice action I have to say you can also clean on the outside like that clean out the stop pivot, uh, the stop pin tang of the blade and also yeah the other side right over here beautiful so we're pretty much set. Uh, I like to dry it off just with a microfiber cloth like that to remove any residue completely. Lovely. All right, so next up we're gonna need uh, one of those, uh, I'm just gonna use a nano oil uh, 10 weight. Like this guy, let's use this guy over here. All right, so we can start from the um, lock side and just lube, put a little bit uh, over here on around the 
the socket, let's say for the uh, bearing, then the pivot is gonna be in. You know what? We can just do just a little bit like that. Just around the pivot so the blade also is gonna have uh, a little bit of lube when it spins around that, just not too much like that. That is enough and just, why not, just a tad over here like so. All right, very good. Uh, nice, so this is uh, done. Next, uh, let's just put the scale back. We can see, yeah, we can do like that so there's not gonna be any tension on the lock bar. And just press this down like this, align it, beautiful. Okay, so just squeeze it. Um, and we're gonna go from this guy, which we have already a T10 in, just like that. Very nice, not too tight, just to keep everything in place. Okay, like this, it's gonna be fine. And uh, let's do T8, this guy can go back right over here. Nice. We're gonna fully tighten this at the end. For now, just do something like this and this guy goes over here. Okay, that's very good. And finally, just the pivot over here. Actually, uh, we can start already using uh, blue Loctite. This is a nice stick. I prefer the stick actually over the um, tube because uh, it's nicer. It's easier to put the right amount, not too much. There you go. All right. So this can go in like that. All right. So for this uh, side, let's see. We don't really need uh, two screwdrivers. We just need to make sure that this is, uh, see it's too tight. So let's just untight that. Always check for blade play. There is none. Okay, we're gonna use a little bit, uh, in this case, just a little bit heavier weight uh, nano oil. This is a weight 85, just for the detent ball. Just a little, very, very minuscule drop for that. And uh, just make it so it, it rubs uh, around that. See, it's still a little bit tight, so let's see if we can and tighten a little bit, no blade play, and have this kind of action, you see? There you go, look at this. Very nice. So you don't have any blade play, not vertical, horizontal, and this is uh, how you perfect the action. Actually, let's just make sure these screws are tight also on the other side. They are. And let's just give a quick check also on presentation scale. And we are good with these T10. Just to check actually a little bit more. Let's see now. There you go. Look at this. This is how you perfect the already good action of a ZT0562Ti. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.